Hello Libra, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please go check out the other videos that may pertain to your sun, moon, or rising signs. Uh, that will give you a much more dynamic picture of what's going on with you and what your situation is. All right, let's get started. What is it that Libra needs to know for this coming week? What is going on with Libra? Let's find out the message for Libra. Okay, we start off with the Princess of Wands, and we're gonna set out our 10 cards for the Celtic cross spread. We are also going to do an 11th card for the confirmation for the number of magic for the continuation of the spiral. So this confir confirmation card we're going to put right here and we're not gonna look at that until the very end. I don't even know what it is. We're gonna see how that might tie this entire reading together once we are done looking at these other cards, okay? Um, so taking a look right away, I see a couple of major arcana cards that I think are going to be quite important in your life and in your situation right now. Um, I do think there are some career slash financial issues going on uh, this week. With this, with this Princess of Wands, I see that you might, in be, it might be in kind of a heightened state of anxiety. Uh, there might be a lot of restlessness, a lot of stress and tension going on with you right now, especially just, um, just in terms of your, of your general energy. And I think a lot of that tension, a lot of that nervousness and that kind of, you know, anxious energy is really related to this five of discs. And this is that, that financial worry, the, the uh, career stress and anxiety. Maybe there is some issue there where your, your, your future is kind of uncertain. The, the path of your career and your finances is a little bit uncertain right now, and that's causing you a little bit of anxiety. Okay, with this five of discs, I think that maybe you have, you've gone from a place that was relatively stable and now things are just kind of, they got shaken up somehow. And maybe we'll find out kind of what's going on or what the future is going to hold for you and how this is going to develop. But I think this week is really going to see a lot of this kind of nervous energy. You know, not only do we have that five of discs showing that there's some sort of financial upset, some sort of career, um, problem or trouble or friction going on there that's causing this kind of worry and anxiety. But you also have this Princess of Wands energy, which is very restless, very anxious, and kind of nervous. And um, and I think that I think that's all tied together. And it just it's making this financial situation just seem a lot worse because you have this really anxious energy about it. Uh, so it might not be as bad as as we're thinking, um, but we'll get into some of that. I do feel like you're the type of person who has always made sacrifices and always have, have kind of been the first person to kind of give something up or to make a sacrifice or to suffer for the greater good, maybe for the good of your family or your loved ones. I think you're the one, maybe you feel like you usually are the one that takes the hit or takes the loss or is more ready and willing to give something up, right? So I think that is a big part of, of kind of where you're coming from and what the foundation is of this situation is your tendency to kind of, I don't know, almost be a little bit too ready to, to make sacrifices. You know, maybe there are instances where you should probably fight for what you have and you should fight to put yourself at the top of the list or at the front of the line rather than just being willing to kind of um, you know, to take the hit and go into the background and and to kind of put yourself second. Maybe, maybe it's time to rethink that attitude. And that's another thing we get from this hanged man is the changing of perspective. So I think that um, maybe you you do have that tendency to put yourself maybe second, maybe third, maybe at the the back of the line completely, um, in order for for other people to kind of uh, succeed or flourish before you. So I do see some of this kind of self-sacrificing tendency um, on your part. Now, I think that you, uh, you have this view of yourself that you are, um, uh, you're, you're, you're doing the right thing, I think, especially with this kind of self-sacrificing attitude. I think that you, you really do, you see yourself as someone who um, 
can handle a lot of stress. Like you're someone that, uh, with this chariot card here, you're someone that is prepared for the worst. You're someone that can handle all of the stress. You can handle all of the, the problems and the trouble. And you're very capable of dealing with that. So you see yourself as someone who is um, a lot stronger than others, a lot more capable, a lot more kind of ready and willing and, and able to survive a lot more than, say, most people. And I think that is what kind of fuels this self-sacrificing attitude a little bit because you know that you can handle it. So you're willing to kind of, you know, um, take a bullet for someone else, metaphorically speaking. So it is, it is like um, you're willing to take this loss. Whatever, whatever is going on here, I think you're more willing to endure that because you, you feel like you're more prepared than most people or that you can handle it better or that you've just been through so much in your life that um, you can handle the worst that the universe can throw at you, right? So I think you're really prepared to do that and you see yourself as someone who is um, maybe a little bit of a martyr, maybe a little bit of um, just someone who who takes a little bit of pride in that self-sacrifice. You know what I mean? It, it makes you it makes you feel stronger or that you're worth more because you're capable of all of this sacrifice. But I think really what's going on is that is draining your energy through a lot of this kind of um, just nervous tension, this anxiety that I think is really going on with you is starting to make you feel drained. Um, I think that you're starting to feel a little bit exhausted and just kind of a little bit of your energy is being zapped by all of this. You know, I think that that's another indication here with this Princess of Wands is that your energy level is, is really starting to take a hit, I think, on this. Um, and so you're, you know, again, you're this type of person that has this self-sacrificing attitude. But um, the other thing that I want to really focus on here is there are a lot of air cards going on, a lot of swords here. So the situation that you find yourself in, um, one, is related to the recent past in this nine of swords. So I think that there was some just really nasty communication with someone. I think someone was just, you know, really had some some negative news or some bad news for you, but the way they approached you with it was just downright nasty. And I think that is kind of, has led you into this kind of just heightened anxiety and nervousness and this really agitated state that we see here. I think it's because the way this person was communicating with you um, just seems really, really uncalled for. I don't think it was... It was the right way for them to approach you with perhaps whatever this news was, whatever this situation is. I think that they really came about it in just a really nasty way. And that's contributing to your current anxieties. Now, um, who this other person is, we're seeing that they could be related to this Prince of Swords. So this may be... Um, a younger person, maybe with some male energy, that could be an air sign. Um, so if there's anyone in your life that kind of fits that bill, they might be the ones who will be breaking this news to you in this rather nasty way. Like they just really don't have any tact or any kind of subtlety. They're just downright abrasive and kind of mean with whatever whatever this situation is that's going on, which again I think is related to some sort of financial problem, some sort of financial obstacle, roadblock, some kind of hiccup on your road to success, right? But with all of these air cards, I kind of want to get get back to some of these. In the um, immediate future, we have the Seven of Swords. So I really think that you trying to work this out with this person in um, a reasonable way, using like words and communication and, and the normal thing, right, is not going to work. I feel like this person is just so oblivious to themselves and they just have zero tact and zero subtlety and they're just really not self-aware because they really came at you or they will be this week, I think, with this really nasty energy and you trying to be, you know, the better person and maintain like the 
the professional conversation and communication with them. It's just not going to work. They're just, I think they're just so dense. They're not going to get it. It's not going to sink in and trying to communicate with them in this way is just not going to work with that seven of swords. There's just no getting through to them. There is no communicating with this person, even if it's just trying to communicate about this situation or about their actions in with this card in the past or with you know at the beginning of the week with this kind of nasty energy that they have there's no talking to them about it it's just not going to it's not going to make any difference at all it's going to go right over their head i think they're they're just they're not capable of really understanding you at this time okay and um i do think again that they are this younger male energy that is possibly an air sign so uh, watch out for, for that person. I think that is going to be where some of this financial anxiety is coming from. It's going to be involving this person, this air sign, uh, with this younger male energy. And it's really, it's going to take some different, different styles and methods for you to kind of get through this and to work out or deal with this person, whatever this situation is. Like I said, they are just not someone who can really use that like intellectual reasoning, rational faculty all that well, at least right now. Um, they just seem to be really nasty and mean at the moment. And it could be because they are also experiencing this, you know, heightened anxiety because of this situation. Um, but I don't think that the time is appropriate for you to really rest on this self-sacrificing energy. Um, I think, again, that you've always been the person that could handle a lot of stress. You could handle a lot of problems. Whatever's thrown at you, you can take it, right? We have this chariot card. We have this hanged man. So I think that you are really ready to, to sacrifice yourself because maybe that's just how you've always done it. Maybe that's how you were raised. Maybe that's just kind of what's been instilled in you as the right way to behave for you. Um, but I wonder if maybe the time isn't right for something else. I wonder if a different approach isn't warranted for you right now, you know. Um, maybe, maybe this one time you should try something else. Try putting yourself first and seeing how that works out. Seeing, seeing kind of what the situation becomes were you to do that, okay. And one reason why I'm looking in that direction is because we do have this five of wands and this is kind of this is your hopes but also your fears i think uh there is a part of you that is maybe ready to start fighting for you okay there's maybe a part of you that um doesn't want to doesn't want to be last anymore doesn't want to have to sacrifice themselves any longer you want to fight to to get what is yours to get what you deserve and to um you know, to win, to come out on top, all right? You don't, I, I think there's at least a small part of you that is kind of ready for that fight. You're ready to just do battle with um, whatever this situation is, right? And I think maybe it's this, this air sign, younger male energy that is coming at you with this really nasty energy. And I think you have a tendency to just kind of take it and, and humble yourself and have this kind of, um, you know, this meek attitude, but there's also that inner strength where you, you know you can handle it, and, um, you know, so you're more willing to, to have that self-sacrificial attitude. But there's part of you that just wants to fight and just have this fiery energy, and I think, honestly, that's where this Princess of Wands energy is coming from, um, this nervousness, this excitement, this agitation is really just you itching to to fight, to really stand up for yourself and, and break through this obstacle and put yourself first and make yourself the priority. Okay, so I really think um, that that is what's going on. And again, I think it's centered around this um, this money issue, this financial worry, this situation involving the money that's going on. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I thank you all so much for, for helping this channel grow so much, okay? Now, the one card that we haven't got to yet except for our confirmation card, which we still have right here, haven't looked at that, 
um, is another air card, and this one is the, the Knight of Swords. And I think this one, as kind of the long-term outcome, is showing a new way for you to assert yourself, a new, a new way to uh, handle this situation. It's kind of a new approach. Uh, it's something different than what you're used to doing. You're reacting in a new way. Uh, you're just trying different things to maybe see how you can succeed, how you can use your strength and your fiery energy and this chariot, really, because, again, you see yourself as this, um, this person that's always kind of in a protective, defensive stance. You're always kind of ready for the battle, but you seem to always kind of put yourself last and you tend to be more self-sacrificial than actually going out and fighting. But I think now you're going to fight. I think with this Five of Wands, it's really you channeling this nervous Princess of Wands energy that we have here, really channeling this into that fighting, that battle, that standing up for yourself, that you know real self-assertion that's going to put your needs at the top of the list, okay? Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong or selfish about that. I think for too long you've been putting yourself last. I think it's time to put yourself first, okay? That's, that's my opinion um, based on the energy that I'm seeing in these cards today. So uh, again, keep in, keep in mind that younger male energy, that is an air sign, I think that is what this situation is going to involve. I think they're going to be coming at you with some nasty news, some nasty energy, and trying to communicate in a rational way with them is not going to work. So um, be ready for them to, to just completely not get it, completely miss the point. There's no getting through to them. Um, so you're going to be trying some new, uh, some new approaches, right? Some new methods of, of dealing with this situation other than what you're used to, like we've been talking about. Uh, another card, actually, that we didn't get to is this Ace of Swords. And this, I think, is kind of your hope, your aspiration, uh, what you would like to see happen. What you would like to see happen, really, is um, like a unity of thought, a very clear thinking, a very clear plan for the future, a clear way out of this situation. And you would really like all of this all of this airy chaos that we see with that younger male energy, that air sign, all of this nasty kind of dense energy from this person, you would like to see all of that clear up and just be this single, unified, clear thinking, clear plan, um, just an ace, an ace of swords where it's just, it's very simple, it's very calm, it's very direct, it's very easily flowing, and it's just, you know, from all this chaos right back to the ace, to the number one, to the unity, the single idea, the just calm, collected, unified thought, and easy communication. This is what you want, right? This is what you want to happen. I don't think it's going to happen because instead of this ace, Instead of this ace in the immediate future, we've got the seven in the immediate future. And I think that trying to uh, conquer this situation, trying to be victorious here in this situation, is not going to come by way of just trying to be reasonable with this person, right? Because for some reason, and maybe it's just because of the situation that's going on, they're just not capable of that right now. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind. Like I said, a lot of air cards here today. But this is your goal. This is what you would like to have happen. And using your traditional approaches to situations like this is not going to be the way to do it. Um, trying to be reasonable with this person, with this younger male energy, uh, this air sign, that's not going to be the way to do it. I think really what is needed is you to fight and just take charge, take control, and you make the decisions and you be that fiery leader in this situation. And then the communication will happen in a new way. It may not be like a verbal, rational, reasonable, trying to explain things. It may not be that. It may just be you making decisions, delegating, kind of making the plan, and, and executing the plan, and everybody else just has to fall in line and follow your instructions. So it could be more of that fiery, fiery leadership with that fighting spirit that we see here. Uh, let's check this confirmation card, shall we, and see see what it tells us about the situation, see if we can get that confirmation uh, or any other little key that might be missing in this. And 
What do we have? Oh yeah, the six of swords, more swords. The six here though, is really a direct descendant of the ace. <clears throat> so this is really perfect, just amazing confirmation. Going from this six, this is what you want. Your aspiration, your hopes for this situ situation was that unified thought, that easy communication, that direct method, that direct path to getting out of this, whatever this financial situation was. This was your aspiration and your hope was to just have that clear communication, the direct route forward out of this situation, right? And the six, if you look at the, if you're familiar with Kabbalah, you know that the the ace or the one or the unity is uh, a direct, has a direct path down to the six. And it's the same in the tarot. The one and the six are like, you know, father and son, so to speak. Um, even though there's no, it's it, whatever. Um, but the six is the direct descendant of this ace, right? So it's coming right down and you're getting that unified thinking. You're getting that clear plan. You're getting everything that you hoped for with this ace. You're getting it now, but in the manifested world, in reality, it's no longer just a hope and an aspiration and a wish, right? It is actual reality. It's this six. It's that balanced, clear thinking, that direct plan. This One of the key words for the six is science. It's that analytical thinking. It's the completely harmonious, the beautiful the beautiful plan that may be complex, it may be simple, it's gonna be both complex and simple. And you can see that from all of this, I don't know how well you can see that, but all that kind of chaos in the background, you have just this really balanced, harmonious, unified uh, symbol in the middle, and it's just, it's a very direct, it really is everything that you are hoping for and wishing for, now manifested, now in the world of action and all of this is taking place. So I think this is really a beautiful confirmation from that ace to that six, and I think you are going to find the perfect, clear, direct, straightforward uh, route out of this situation, which again is some kind of a financial or career or work-related um, obstacle or roadblock or some kind of hiccup on your road to success in terms of your finances. Look out for that younger male heir energy and um, please leave me some comments and let me know how all of this works out for you. I'm really super excited about this confirmation. I mean this is really just a wonderful confirmation card with that ace to that six of swords. Beautiful confirmation. Um, if you want to stick around for the extended version of this you can become a member of this channel and all of the information is down in the description box. Libra thank you so much for letting me read for you today.